Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Monday Night Live with Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, Teresa Harper. Hope everybody had a wonderful week and a great weekend. <clears throat> Let's see where we're at here. There we go. Weekend. Oops. Let me turn the sound down on the iPad. All right. Now, is it going to let me? There we go. Swipe to see. There we go. Hello, Lynette, Jennifer, and Laura. Thank you so much for joining me. Lynette, I hope you had a fabulous Hawaiian vacation. Pictures look like you were having a good time. So tonight we're going to be working with new product from the uh, July to December holiday catalog. I'm just going to call it the holiday catalog because July to December mini catalog is just too long. And that's really what it is. So tonight we're going to be using the Nuts About Squirrel stamp set. Very, very cute stamp set. This is a photopolymer stamp set. Has 13 stamps in it, and you can find it on page 49 of your holiday mini. It's also a fairly inexpensive stamp set at $17. So, let's... Hi, Tracy! All right. <sighs> I have spent days and days in this studio getting things ready for the BOGO sale for Saturday, getting things ready for tonight's live, making some cards. You guys, for those of you who um, are coming on Saturday to our crop, um, in case you didn't know or if you've forgotten, we do have a challenge and that is for Christmas in August. So you need to make a project or a card, um, something Christmassy. And then we'll uh, show those on Saturday. So that gives you almost a week to get yours done. I made my project today. And uh, I think it turned out really fabulous. So let's go ahead and get started with our first project. Our first project is going to be a masculine card. And I, the way this card came about was I needed to make a birthday card for my granddaughter, Kiara, whose birthday is today. So happy birthday, Kiara. And so I started out, I wanted to use this stamp set because it's so adorable. And I made a card. And when I got it done... I thought, oh, that's just a little too masculine for Kiara. So I had to go back to the drawing board. But this one I decided was good for Facebook Live because it'll show you how you can use this stamp set to make a masculine card. So that's pretty cool. Um, for the inside sentiment of this card, we're going to be using a stamp from the celebration set in your words, and we're going to be using the stamp that says, hope your day is fantabulistic, fabulous and fantastic all in one. So that's a really good sentiment. Um, you can pull in last year's, uh, banner year stamp set for the acorns to go along with these squirrels if you so choose. I did on my envelope and the inside of my card. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start with a card base in gray granite. And of course this is an A2, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We'll go ahead and fold and burnish this. Okay. 
Then we're going to take a piece of the bloom where you're planted um, designer series paper. Let me grab that sample book so you can see the patterns that are in there. This is the pattern that we're going to be using tonight. So these are the patterns. Um, I don't actually have the stamp set or anything, but I am using the paper because I have some of it. And it lends itself well to this card. So we're going to use a piece that is four by five and a quarter. We're going to mat that onto our card. And we can go ahead and do that right now. This particular pattern has the brick wall on the back side. So I'm just put that down. <clears throat> then we have a piece of gray granite that is um, two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. Okay, so we're gonna use that. And then we have a second piece of that same designer series paper and this is the cinnamon cider brick wall and we're going to mount this onto this gray granite. But first we're gonna do some stamping and then we'll do some layering. So we're gonna set all that aside. So now you'll need some scrap, uh, scrap basic white cardstock. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull a quarter sheet of that. And we're going to stamp our little squirrel. And I'm stamping, this is our um, color palette of ink. We're using Just Jade, Evening Evergreen, Cinnamon Cider, Early Espresso, and Soft Suede. Do that, it might be a little easier for you to see if I do that. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Early Espresso. And we're gonna ink up our little squirrel holding our nut. We're just gonna give that a stamp down. Okay. And while we're at it with this color, we're going to grab our branches and we're going to stamp two of those. Okay. And we need to stamp happy birthday on our designer series paper. So let's see, did I put that back in the stamp case? Uh, yes. So I need that happy birthday. And I'm just going to lay this down. Then I'm going to take this happy birthday. I'm going to stamp it right down here in the lower left corner. Just like so. Okay. And I think we can be done with that for the moment. Okay. All right, so next we're gonna stamp some leaves. Let's set this aside because we're done with that. We're gonna do that with just jade. And I'm gonna need to steal one of these blocks. Okay, so we're, we need 
four of these leaves. So we're going to do one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to take Evening Evergreen and add the detail of the leaf in the Evening Evergreen. And I need a scrap piece of paper, which where? Oh, I set it over here on the catalog. Okay, so we're gonna stamp off and then we're gonna add that into our leaf. I didn't want these to be too dark, but I wanted to make sure that I had good definition. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do, well, there actually there's two more things that we need to do here in the stamping. We need to fill in our squirrel, and we could color him in with Stampin' Blends, but there is a stamp to do that. So we are going to take Cinnamon Cider, not Soft Suede, And we're going to fill, fill in our little squirrel. Okay. So when you go to line this up, you want to look at the ears and the little hands here and the little feet. And if you look at the eye and the hands and the feet and the ears, you're going to get this lined up just about perfect every time. Okay, so there we have our squirrel. Now we still need to fill in his little acorn. I'm gonna get green, I'm gonna get jade all over my, or evening evergreen all over my finger here if I don't fix that because I need this acorn here. Okay. So close up the cinnamon cider and we're going to use soft suede. And I'm going to hurry pick up this stamp before it gets stuck on something and I can't find it. So I'm going to stamp the top of the acorn full strength in the soft suede. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp my acorn. Okay, so the little acorn has a little tiny spot in it, and I don't know if you can see that or not for the squirrel's hand. So you're looking to line this up, and the point of the acorn, and we're going to stamp this off, and then we're going to line that up. And stamp it down. Okay? So there are our pieces. Unfortunately, there are no dies to this stamp set, so you'll have to fussy cut all of those out. Now, I have a tip for fussy cutting the um, branches. I suggest that when you go to cut the branches, that you start up here at the bigger or at the um, branchy area and trim around these first. It just makes it a whole lot easier to get between them. They really aren't that difficult, but if you have more paper to hold on to when you're doing this, it just makes it easier. So I found that if I cut the top of the branch first then it wasn't too hard okay so just a little tip for that all right so you would cut both of those out and then you would cut all of those out but I've already done that to save us some time okay So here are our pieces. 
already cut. And then we can take and start adding them to our brick wall. <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of liquid glue. And where did I set my silicone mat? The ever elusive silicone mat. Okay, so I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to put this up here along the top. Like so. And then I'm going to put the second one down. And I'm going to set this one right here like so. So it looks as if they're coming out of one branch. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my leaves. Hi, Mary. Jennifer, thank you for sharing. Appreciate that. This one on here. And then we're going to put this one down here. Like so. And I'm going to move to the bottom branch. And then I'm going to take my glue dot and I'm going to pop that one up a little bit. Actually, I should put it on two, one at the top and one on the bottom <clears throat> so that it has an even foundation. And we'll just put this one right here, just like that. All right. So we've got our branches and our leaves on now. It's time to add our little squirrel. Now, my little squirrel looked a little too flat for me. So I'm taking my bone folder and I'm going to curl his outer tail. And then I'm going to go on the inner tail right here, and I'm going to curl this the other way, okay? Which gives his tail quite a bit of character. And then I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals and add him to my card. And I'm going to make sure that I put a Stampin' Dimensional in the middle of this curve here so that that will stay popped up. And maintain its shape. Okay. Before I add him, I'm going to go ahead and add this to my gray granite. <clears throat> All right. And I'm seeing a little bit of white on the edges that I don't really want to see. So I'm going to take my Stampin' Write marker and I'm going to run that just along the edge.
of my paper. And then any white that I had showing will not show. Our designer series paper has a white core, so you can get that white showing when you cut it. When you take this, oh, probably doesn't really matter, but we're gonna put it on right side up. And I use liquid glue because this is just an eighth inch bigger this designer series paper size is three, um, hang on, get my measurements, two and three quarters by four. Okay, then we can go ahead and add this to our card. And we're just gonna do that with some seal. Put that roughly in the center. And then we can add our squirrel. Just gonna set him right down on the bottom here just so it looks like he's sitting on the edge of that all right next I'm gonna grab some of the 2020 to 2022 in color gems these come in Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, Magenta Madness, and Bumblebee. So we're going to take and add a few of these. I think we'll add the Cinnamon Cider. Well, maybe we'll add Just Jade into the leaves. Just to give us a little bit, a little bit of something, something here. I'm going to add a large one right down here. Okay, so there's the front of our card. Now, for the inside, I pre-stamped that. And I took the other squirrel from that stamp set and then the acorn from Banner Year. And I stamped that acorn in soft suede and then I took my light uh, soft suede marker and colored in the top. And then here's the strip of um, the designer series paper that I cut off the end of this. And here is that stamp from the In Your Words celebration host set that you can get when you host a $300 workshop or you have a very large order. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add this to the inside of our card. I think that dresses it up quite nicely. And then for the envelope, I've stamped that same squirrel that I put on the inside. And then on the back, I put two more of those acorns from Banner Year. So there's our matching set. What do you think? Oh, good. I'm glad you guys like it. Thank you. Like I said... <laughs> I started to make that for Kiara for her birthday, and then I went, oh, that's just a little too masculine. So, 
our next card is the result of going back to the drawing board. I've got to um, clean these stamps, though, because I'm going to use some different colors and things. And we don't want to be mixing our stamp colors. I'm cleaning them on my chamois here in case you... Okay, I think we're good. There we are. All right, so let's move on to card number two. I was having a lot of fun with this stamp set. Okay. So for this card, the designer series paper that we are using is from the Pattern Party DSP. And we are using, well, let me, I'll just flip through so you can see the patterns. And this is um, free with a $180 workshop or a $180 order. Or if you just have $150, you can pay the difference for the, because this is a host set at, $18. So, but this is the uh, pattern that we'll be using tonight because I thought it went perfectly with these little squirrels. So, we are going to start with <clears throat> a polished pink card base. We've got this piece of designer series paper that is five or five and a quarter by four. And then we've got the second largest scallop contour die. And that's for the inside. And this is the Largest stitch so sweetly done in polished pink, and then we have a piece of uh, basic white to go inside the stitch so sweetly die cut, and that is cut at oh my goodness, what did I cut that at? Because it was an odd size. And I thought I wrote it down. Oh, you know what? I think I dropped that piece in my bag. Hang on just one sec. If I dump out the rest of the pieces, maybe I'll find that. Nope. I will not. I'm not sure what I did with it. Well, let's measure it up because it is an odd size, as I recall. Oh yeah, this is two and, two, two, two and seven sixteenths. No, two and nine sixteenths by three and three quarters. And that's what fits, what I found to fit best. So you have that odd little 9 sixteenths measurement so that it fits in there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we can start by adhering. I'll fold this and burnish this. Polished pink. Love this color. Kiara loved her birthday card, too, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> All right, so then we're just going to go in and adhere this to our card base. I love the black and white with the pop of polished pink. So we've got that down. Now 
we can go ahead and add our, oh no, we can't because we have to stamp on, we need some, um, <clears throat> uh, blending, ink blending. I don't know what I was thinking there for a second. Okay, let's see. So from the basic pattern decorative masks, oh, it's still on the board. Okay, so this is what comes in the basic pattern mask. You get, um, I don't, let's see if you can see that better this way. You get this pattern and a polka dot pattern and this kind of leaf pattern. And then you get the one that we're going to use tonight. which is a tree pattern. And I already have this set up, so we're just gonna, I used a little bit of glittery washi tape. And then we're going to take our basic white. And I like to use a bit of um, temporary adhesive on the back so that my piece of cardstock doesn't move. I'm going to put this in here however I feel my pattern will look best. So I'm just going to put that in there. I'm going to take my smoky slate and my blending brush. Get my scrap paper here. And I'm going to put some ink on here and then I'm going to swirl it off and then I'm going to gently swirl it on. I do not want a ton of color and it's easier to put it on than it is to take it off. So we'll just make several passes and when you're using masks it may not look like it's uh, the ink is going on but trust me, it is. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Perfect. I do not want any more ink on there. Okay, so now I can pull this off and I can set this aside. And this is what I have. That gives me a little background for my squirrels. So now I can add this piece to my polished pink um, Stitch So Sweetly die. I'm just gonna set this right in there and try to get a nice even border. All right, and then I can go ahead and add this to my card. And I think this card already is pretty. So now we're gonna do some stamping. So we're going to get a scrap piece of paper. And we're going to, oh, I need a bigger piece than that. This one has a lot. So we're going to get our quarter sheet of cardstock again. We're going to take our smoky slate. And we need basic gray. Okay. And I'm going to stamp both squirrels. So I'm going to stamp the first squirrel. 
the basic gray. And then I'm going to stamp squirrel number two in the basic gray. Okay. And then I'm finished with that one. And then I need my smoky slate. And I'm going to take my fill. Let's see how that's going to stamp because, oh, it looks good. Okay. My ink pad is looking a little juicy. And again, I'm going to line up the ears, the feet, and the eye. And there we go. Got him all stamped really nicely. And then we'll take our nutty, nutty squirrel and we're going to line those up. Ears, eye, hands, and feet. And set that down. Okay. Voila. Put that one aside. And then we're going to grab our soft suede again. We're going to fill in our nut. Get the bottom part of the acorn. We're going to stamp it off. Line up the hands and the tip. And stamp that down. Okay, then we have one more thing to stamp, and we're going to pull that in from Hey Birthday Chick. And we're going to get out the crazy chicken with the little cupcake. And get that on a block, which I'll have to clean a stamp. I got a little crazy chick here. Then I'm going to take my memento black, and I only need to ink the cupcake because that's really all I need. So I'm just going to ink up the corner. Just enough to get the cupcake. Then I'm going to stamp this down in the corner. Okay. Blushing Bride, so we're going to get the polished pink stamp and blend. And we're going to color in the top of our cupcake. Get just a little bit of the dark. Then we'll blend those two together. Oh, actually, I did it differently. But that's okay. We'll punt. Use Blushing Bride, and I'm going to use my Stampin' Write marker. <clears throat> and a candle. In my original, I did it the other way around. 
that's okay. Then I'm going to take my Mango Melody Stampin' Blend. And yes, I know it's retired, but I still have it. So I'm going to use it for Flame because it works better than Daffodil Delight. But if you don't have the Mango Melody, you could use Daffodil Delight. Or you could use your Mango Melody Stampin' Right marker. Um, either way would work beautifully. And then we're going to grab our Crumb Cake Blends. And we are going to... Color in the cake part. I'm going to take the dark and I'm going to go underneath the cupcake and just along the bottom and then down the artist lines. And then I'll just go back and blend that all together. Okay. Now again, there's no dies, so this will have to all be fussy cut. But again, to save us a bunch of time, I've already done that. So here's our cute little squirrels. And here's our little cupcake. All right. And then we have a piece of DSP for the inside. So let's go ahead and put this together. Oh, we have one more thing that we need to do, and that's stamp the happy birthday and cut it out. Okay, so we need a piece of Blushing Bride cardstock, which is that right here, a little scrap. And then we're going to get the polished pink um, ink. Get this happy birthday. Is this? I don't think that's going to fit. Okay, so we're going to ink this up. Stamp it down. Okay, this ink pad is a little bit on the juicy side. Let's try that again. One more time. Still not happy with that. I might need to push my ink down in my pad. Okay, much better. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to get the mini stamp and cut in emboss. I don't need all this paper, so I'm just going to chop this off. Then we're going to take a die from the Give It A Whirl dies. And we're going to use this little banner right here from these Give It A Whirl dies. And it will fit on this sentiment just perfectly. So we're just going to put that in there. Center it. Drop our plate on, hold our breath. And run it through. All right. And then we'll pull this out of the way. And now we have our happy birthday sentiment ready to go. Okay, so we can start putting this together. Let me put this die away because we definitely don't want to lose that. All right. So I'm going to start by, I'm going to fluff the tail on my 
squirrel again. Okay. Get some Stampin' Dimensionals. And we're going to use both the large and the mini for this. <clears throat> Start with some large. We'll put that up here and back here. And then I'm going to use the minis through the middle of the tail because this one's a little bit thin and I really want that to curve. those release papers. And we'll put our little squirrel down here on the bottom. Oh, I almost forgot. Oops. He needs to stand on something. So I took from the beauty of the earth, there's this little shadow. I am going to add in some gray granite. I want it to be just real light, so I'm using some gray granite here. Whoops, I just stuck my finger in the ink pad, so if you do that, just take your Simply Chamois and clean your finger. Then I'm going to take and stamp and stamp off. I'm going to line this up and I'm going to put my little squirrel right along here. Okay. So we've got that squirrel on. Then we're going to get a another mini dimensional. And we're going to add the cupcake. Oops. To the lower left corner here so it kind of looks like the squirrel is looking back at the cupcake. Now, I did add Wink Estella to the cupcake there so it would be all nice and shiny. And then what we're going to work this squirrel's tail again. Give him a little definition. All right. Add our dimensionals. And before we take the backing off, we're going to figure out exactly where we need our sentiment to go. So we're going to put this down. So we're going to see how that looks. And if this is going to, let me close up this ink pad before I have a disaster. Take and we'll set this on our sentiment. Okay, so now that we know where we want that to go, we're going to go ahead and use some stamp and seal. If you get a little over the edge like I just did, just roll it back on itself. You okay, Abs? What? You okay? Yeah. Okay. She just smacked her head on my cupboard board. Okay, so we've got our sentiment. Now we're just going to set our little squirrel up here. 
making sure that his that her little tail does not go over the top of our card and it doesn't and then we're going to give that a press okay and I've also put some wink of Stella on the bottom of the acorn to give it a little glitz okay all right So for the inside of this card, hmm. interesting, I didn't already stamp that, but that's okay. We're going to take that gray squirrel again. with those I think I used the memento black it looks like so let's yep I want this one. Oh, these older pads sometimes frustrate me so we'll get the black and we're gonna take the little ground squirrel without the nut outline put him down here in the far corner like so take the smoky slate take this squirrel off Oh, that's, nope, that's the squirrel that I wanted. I took the wrong squirrel off the block. Had them double-sided there. Okay, so we're going to ink that up in the smoky slate. Line up the eyes, ears, and feet. And there we are. And we're going to grab that sentiment from <clears throat> In Your Words. Oh, I already have it on a block. Okay, I found this one to be a little challenging for me to line up. When you get yours, it might not be so. I definitely have to audition mine. So I'm going to get the polished pink. Let's see how this looks when I stamp it down. Oh man, if I could do that, it would be just about perfect. Now we're going to lay this little piece of designer series paper right here. I'm going to put that in place. And then I'm going to stamp this down and hope it's straight. Hold your breath. Cross your fingers. Close enough. All right. So we've got that. Then we're going to take a a little bit of liquid glue here and add this little tiny strip to my card after I drop it on there of course go back when that's dry and erase that off Okay, and there's the inside of our card. There we go. Now nobody will know that I dropped it on there. Except for you guys, of course.
All right, so then we're gonna add this to the inside with some more seal. And really dress up the inside of that card. All right. So there's our second card. Now for the envelope, I did already stamp that. And we have that same little squirrel right there. So there's our set. Oop, don't wanna lose my stamp. And of course, I just got ink on my finger. All right, I'll bring back in the first card we made. So you can see them both. Now this card feels like it could use a few little rhinestones or something. So let's grab the 2021 to 2023 in color jewels. And I'm going to take some of the polished pink jewels here. I'll just see. Add one over here. Add one here. And we'll put another one right there. Okay. There we go. Thank you everybody. I'm glad you love the projects. I hope that this inspires you to make some of your own. And I will see you again. Oh, next week. Wait a minute. Where was my other? I have one more card that I made that I'm going to give you a sneak peek of. And we might. You might find me popping on to make this card a little later this week because it is already made and ready to go. And it also uses this little set. So stay tuned for this one. All right. Thanks, everybody. Hope everybody has a good week. And I shall see you again soon or Monday night at the latest. Have a good week. Take care and stay healthy. Bye-bye.